On day 20 of the government shutdown, we're hearing more about the impact on airline safety. Thousands of FAA safety inspectors and technicians are either working without pay or they're off the job. The head of the union that represents those civil servants tells our Mike Gooding the shutdown is taking a toll. Well, that is right, Janet. This gentleman told me he's not even sure it's safe to fly. I wouldn't fly from Norfolk to Richmond. Not today. No, sir. I wouldn't. The partial government shutdown is starting to affect air travel. Federal aviation safety inspectors haven't been inspecting anything for the last 20 days because they are at home, off the job, not getting paid thanks to the shutdown. Workers who aren't deemed essential, including the inspectors, plus the technicians who maintain equipment used in airport towers and clerical staff have been furloughed. Others like Airway Transportation System Specialist David Bowerman of Virginia Beach are working but not getting paid. And I'm seeing and hearing from folks that it's hard for them to actually focus and pay attention to their jobs, knowing that this upcoming Monday, they're not going to get paid. Bowerman is professional aviation safety specialist, chapter president for Virginia, a union in the Federal Aviation Administration that represents 11,000 technicians, safety inspectors, and administrative personnel in Virginia and four other states. He's worked at Norfolk International Airport since 2001. Bowerman says the shutdown is starting to take a toll on the morale and work production. We work in safety related positions where they have to be on point. They have to be focused on what they're doing because the flying public is counting on them to provide safety while they're in the air. And Virginia Senator Mark Warner today joined in in introducing a bill designed specifically to help these exact federal workers. It's called the Federal Employee Civil Relief Act. That uh, legislation would protect those workers and their families from foreclosures, evictions, and loan defaults during a government shutdown. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.